also, uh, earlier I put on my Instagram that, you know, um, Shane was playing Sony and I was bored and so I wanted to talk to someone. So I thought, why not talk to the world? Um, and everyone submitted their uh, questions down and so we're just going to go through and I'm going to answer some questions while I cook tacos. Um, <laughs> okay. Through this quarantine period, uh, myself, Matt, Sammy, and Shane, we actually stayed at this uh, rock climbing lodge in Kentucky. And um, Mary, the the owner, she actually said, "When are you coming? When are you moving back to Bedrock?" Oh man, I wish that was such a fantastic place to go. Um, what are some of the other ones? So someone asked, like, what age did I start weightlifting? I started weightlifting when I discovered CrossFit back in 2013 and so what age would I have been then? I think I would have been 20. Yep, it was 20. Um, oh, they're asking what's Shane playing and what's his gamer tag? Come squat up with the boys. Oh, I love this. Thanks, Adam. Um, I'll let him know about that, Adam. So I think Shane is playing Call of Duty and whatever the la latest one is, like Modern Warfare or I don't know what it is. And I have no idea what his game tag is, so I'll get him to reach out to you. <laughs> Alrighty, the next one is, what is your favorite outdoor activity? And also, what is your favorite book? Great questions, I love these. Uh, so, man, I love everything outdoors. Um, from scuba diving and snorkeling to rock climbing. Um, I, I love camping. Um, I even love just, you know, going out for walks and hikes, um, especially like on my one wheel, that's a lot of fun. Um, what else do I enjoy doing? I love being home um, on our farm, back home in Australia. That is a lot of fun because you can just do so much outside so like swimming in the river I love going to the beach love the beach um, I definitely would say that my happy place is in the ocean um, what else do I love doing Whew. I mean we've ever since coming over here and you know through some winters we've gone like snowboarding and stuff I love doing that um, Oh, wow. I I think I, I love everything, um, especially especially outdoors, in the sun. Um, and then my favorite book. So I have a few, and lately, you know, I'm tossing up between a few different ones. One is called Relentless, and um, that's, it's just about... Um, this guy who worked with like Michael Jordan and I believe Tiger Woods and you know a variety of um, great athletes around the world um, and then another one that I love is um, how to how to win people and influence uh, others that is a fantastic one as well um, and they're, they're both just very different and then another one and it, I was actually only just talking about this today Atomic Habits um, I think that's a fantastic uh, book and it definitely inspired me to just you know keep chipping away and creating things into habits that I wanted to do which has really benefited me as well so another question is how many hours do I train well it really depends on the time of the season um, today I trained for I don't know about six hours I think um, so that was a pretty decent day uh, but you know, if I'm in the off season, I'll probably only train for maybe four hours a day. And then when I'm really in the thick of the season and like training for a major competition, uh, I'll train for at least, at least eight hours a day. Why don't I play with him? This is a great question. So the reason I don't play PlayStation with Shane is because apparently I will ruin his stats. And if you ask me, I think that's a load of bull. And, you know, if he just showed me and taught me how to play, probably would be really good at it. 
and I could actually help his stats, but he's not willing to, uh, to help me with that. Oh, this is a good one. What was my, when was my last beer and what was it? So that my last alcoholic beverage was actually only like two, oh, it, it was on Sunday. Um, I had red wine. Um, yeah, Shane and I finished training and then we came home and we had cheese and crackers and red wine and we sat out on the porch and watched the sunset. Um, super romantic. Um, but as in terms of a beer, I had a bit of an experience with beer back in 2016 after celebrating the Olympics and I don't know if I can say I've touched a beer since. You know, I, I, I prefer kind of uh, like rum or whiskey, like those kind of uh, liquors over beer. And then what is my favorite go-to meal before competition? So typically when I'm leading into competition, um, what, what do I like? I'm, oh, of course, I love a steak and chips. So chips, I mean fries, um, can't go wrong with a nice steak. Uh, I feel like it just provides me with so much more energy. Um, so having that red meat and then obviously the carbs. Um, and then, you know, I'll throw in like broccoli or, you know, a side of um, uh, vegetables as well, um, just to get my greens and in a little, little more guilt-free if I'm gonna have, uh, have my fries. But yeah, love steak and chips. We had to take a break because I was absolutely starving. Uh, and you know, I wanted to have tacos. I mean, who doesn't love tacos, right? So, um, back to some of the questions from my Instagram. Amy asked, what would you say to someone who is starting out and doesn't live near any CrossFit gyms? Um, awesome question, Amy. I think when it comes to whether you're starting out at CrossFit or, or any kind of sport and you're trying to, you know, build a love and a habit for that particular um, interest. I think when it comes to, it, it depends if you have equipment or not, but I definitely highly recommend going on either YouTube or Instagram, really utilizing the social platforms that like myself or other athletes or um, coaches put out to try and help educate yourself and kind of show you and, and um, allow you to think outside the box when it comes to programming. Because if you don't have any equipment and you are at home and you don't have really anyone to help guide you, doing air squats or sit-ups and push-ups every single day could eventually turn into potentially injury, um, especially if you're overusing and overworking those muscles. Um, you know, you, you could also be um, squatting poorly as well, and so not having someone visually watching your movements can also be, um, you know, a little little issue when it comes to still learning each movement as it comes. Um, so if I was you, you know, you don't have to be at a CrossFit gym, but I would make an effort to at least once a week, go to the nearest CrossFit gym that you have, learn and start understanding CrossFit, utilizing the social media platforms, and then also um, just making sure that you have variety through your workouts and, and through your training as well. Uh, Hoop dot dragon uh, asked me anything new you've been doing in quarantine and uh, yeah um, I'm what what have I done I've done I've done a, a lot of zoom workouts with um, affiliates or even just um, you know people that have reached out to me um, that you know wanting to work out with me um, and you know they had like a their family and you know their family is living in three different places and we all like tuned in 
Um, so we've been doing that. I've been doing a lot of live workouts on Instagram as well. Um, and just trying to really connect with people outside um, my own circle and, and my space. Um, also, uh, we actually went rock climbing and hiking um, a few times through quarantine, which I know sounds kind of bizarre that I was uh, not at home, but where I was quarantining was literally in the middle of nowhere. And like there was, it was in our backyard. Um, so we were very fortunate enough to uh, be able to do that. All right guys, um, I've made my cup of tea in my group uh, group mug. And you know, I'm gonna be calling it a night um, pretty soon. So basically once dinner's done, I've cleaned up. Uh, I'm just take half an hour or so to just unwind, watch maybe a little bit of TV or do whatever kind of thing just to relax and get ready for bed. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed our training session today. Um, and don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.